We have Gerald. Gerald is out there in Iberia Parish. Um, Gerald, last time we heard from you, the wind had maybe picked up a little bit, but you still weren't seeing um, too big of increases in, in rain and wind, things like that. Uh, what are we seeing now out there in I Iberia Parish? Covering Hurricane Francine in Delco, Iberia Parish. Just had my partner roll up on me. Introduce yourself, baby. Mark McDonald. All right, Mark. So you were telling me, bro. I asked you when, when you came and said, hey. Uh, I said, man, sigh of relief. How you feeling about it? You, you got a whole story for me, brother. What's happening? Well, it was going straight to Holly Beach. So we went we moved our camper to Sulphur, came on back, and then it looked like it just keep moving on over, moving on over. So we just stuck around. We boarded up our windows. But look like we're gonna miss it. It's time to take the boards off. So my question for you: Are you a you're from Delco? Yes, sir. All right. So the anxiety that comes with these storms. Uh, when does that kick in for you? Was it over the weekend? Was it on Monday? Was it on Tuesday? What did what did that kind of feel like? Why the decision to go down to Holly Beach, start boarding up the wind? You know what I'm saying? Well, last time when it took everything from Holly Beach, we didn't move our camper, so we lost it. So we got another one. So this time we figured we're gonna move it ahead of the storm. And uh, we've always stayed for a storm. Listen, for Rita, my brother and all of them had moved up, gone up higher up. And he called me. He said, hey, what's going on? I said, the storm passed on your in-law's house. They got a piece of tin missing. But I said, nothing. When I got by Highway 14, I seen some people walking in the water coming up to Highway 14. And the law was there. And they told me, they said, man, y'all got to get out. He said, the water's coming up like two foot every 20 minutes. So I went back home and told my uncle and all, and we moved to Jefferson Island, moved up on the hill. But yeah, it gets scary quick. You know, that water come up and, and get you if you don't watch out. When did you take that sigh of relief this week? Was it one of those deals yesterday when you kind of saw everything inching more as east? It, as it was coming, yeah. And it just kept moving over to the east. Yeah. Now we got a lot of relatives down the Bayou, Bayou La Fouche, and uh, they're going to catch some of it. But still, it's not bad. So let me ask you a question. I know you're talking about down the bayou. So you a shrimper? Uh, what do you have? What's that background? Because I know all my partners down the bayou, all their families, all in the fishing industry. I had a boat for maybe 30 days, and I realized that wasn't for me. Yeah. So you um, come, that, that's a whole nother level of stress too. I'm, I'm sure you got some partners that do shrimp, right? And I'm a sugarcane farmer. So we were watching the weather, and we're about halfway finished planting. So when it gets better, we're going to start over again. So that's what I was going to ask. I know the sugar cane, uh, I'm thinking we're knocking on the doors of those months where the trucks are going to be all over the roadways. We're going to start seeing smoke from, from the plants ready to rock and roll. Uh, talk to me about uh, the hurricane effects that you have to worry about from the sugar cane aspect. Well, it's a little scary because where we at, we get a lot of salt water. And the salt is what hurts us. You know, we got some property that we just finished planting. And the cane's not really coming up because it's so wet. It would need to dry. That ground would crack a little bit and the cane would come out, but it'll be all right. Hey, we'll do it over again. Yeah, you're right. So so one more time, tell me your name. Mark McDonald. Mark McDonald, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Stay safe. I know we got some uh, some more ride left to, uh, to get through, but uh, you're feeling pretty good about it, huh? So far, so good. Yeah, you're right. Mark, appreciate you, baby. Yeah, you're right. Acadiana, here's the deal. We'll have much more coming up on KLFY News 10 as we get ready for Hurricane Francine to make landfall in the southeastern portions of our state. I'm Gerald Grunick. Well, 